Hey guys, it's me, <clears throat> Mini Fluffy One, and welcome back. Sorry, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic 2, where we last left off. We escaped the mine. We went through the mining tunnels and are now here with HK. HK Protocol Droid. It is a pleasure Let's to search this officer's corpse. And we'll have some chemicals, credits, med pack, energy shield. Blah blah blah, generic stuff. Let's actually, uh, I think I have to, I should ask him about. Greeting. It is. What's that body there? Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain, and attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him. Mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Screams? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone that... Oh, oh, no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. That's dark. I've heard enough. I'll be going now. Alright, that was an important detail that I should have... really should have left off with. Now we can go through all of this stuff, and now we're finally at a point where we can make things. Because there's finally a workbench. Components. Components everywhere. Oh, the sonic imprint sensor. With the protocol droid's help, I've finished work on the sonic imprint sensors. I've installed them in the mining droids, but I'm locking up the original here to prevent the other miners from using its ability to record and play back voices to override the droid's voice print protocols. So that's really important, actually. Um, but yeah, seriously, let's make stuff to create items. Oh yeah, long sword, baby, ranged. Um, wow, I can make lightsaber upgrade parts. That's that's a little random, but okay. Oh, I can't afford a blaster rifle. I need repair too. Wait, what? Current skill repair too. Why is oh? Repair seven. Jesus. Yeah, that would make sense. But a long sword, though. Um, and a blaster rifle is actually not as good as a heavy mining laser, which I think is funny. So let's make. Wait, long swords are better than a vibro. Yeah, definitely are. Okay, so let's create this long sword here. Boop. Now we've got a long sword instead of a vibro cutter, and we're gonna upgrade some items now. With a basic ionite edge. And we're gonna assemble that. Uh, actually, let's try and work on some um, upgrade parts for. For the sword, uh, create a breakdown items, melee, oh, I can't. Is it skill level? It's skill level for all of them, I can't. Well, that's unfortunate, but hey. At least I have an actual weapon now. And I guess by making a long sword... It is a pleasure to see you intact. Although, wait, can't I also use this because it's balanced? So, Master. putting it in my offhand incurs no two-handed weapon use penalty, and I'm pretty in love with using two weapons, I'm not gonna lie. Dual wield is, like, my favorite thing. And, alright then... I'm on. Thank you. Alright, thanks. Let me pick through your remains. So basically now we have to find a way out of here. And back to add administration, I believe. 
Thank you for being virtually useless. But... Now I do a lot of damage due to having a long sword and a fibro cutter, which is nice. And the reason I don't get a two weapon use penalty is because a vibro cutter is a short sword and it's in my off hand. So because it's balanced, um, it's okay. And I'm gonna wanna switch this to a plasma torch for a hot second. Right, forgot about you guys. Sup mining droid level twos. So, I uh, might just want to get the heavy mining laser back. Power blast him in the face! Okay. Screw this, let's do it this way. Because the damage is crazy. And there's a level up. Alright, level up. Attributes recommended got me through the last game, so it's gonna get me through this one again. And three injury for all. That's a little wild, bro. Not gonna lie, a little wild. Sure, well, let's just go recommended for that too. Cause I'm not really the greatest. <laughs> okay. Force powers. What else did I get? I got Effect Mind. Right. And now I have Force Body, Health, the Fuel, yeah, Energy Resistance, Force Valor, that increases Saving Throws, 2 plus, plus 2 plus, plus 2 bonus. Well, Energy Resistance it is, and we are now a level 4 Jedi Guardian. And, hold on. Let's plasma torch it up to open this door. Because that is the best way to bash open doors. And now, because... Um... I see him, I can kinda... No, that's... Not what I want. I want you. Thank you, that's an advance. That's not what I want. Dang it! Give me the heavy mining laser, please. Thank you. And get blasted from the side. Got it! Expertly executed. That was good strats right there. They never knew what was coming to them. Um, so this is just an empty room. And I can't go the other way because it's blocked off by containment fields, right? That's literally the terminal where T3 was. Like, it's right over there. That's how close I am to the exit. And that's what really hurts about this. Is it's like so close and yet so far the entire time. Nope. Thank you. And you, actually, no. You. That's not what I wanted, but okay. What I actually wanted was to bash it and make it explode so I could insta-kill you. Yeah, thank you. But seriously, it's like so close. And yet, so far, all at once, and it's honestly painful, and is that the turbo lift to... Yeah, that's back up to administration, which is good. And we're going to switch and use a plasma torch, unless I can open it with a terminal. Um, access maintenance logs. All right. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. All right. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. 
It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. And he didn't realize that those two things might be connected? Wow, this new droid that I have no idea what it does or where it came from is good at speaking to our droids. Oh no, our droids are suddenly misbehaving. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi in Medbay? I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy. And that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. Not likely exchange bounty. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shadda. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are going to give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... Yep. With the protocol droid's help, I made some upgrades to the sonic imprint sensor, using some of the droid's vocabulator subroutines. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the droid's full array of alien languages, including basic. Should prove useful as a portable translator. I tried to make sure the protocol unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the droid refused. Saying the work was reward enough. I was thinking of installing the prototype in one of the mining droids as a test and see what happens. Voice print ID. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. But I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. Security problems. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Oh, I wonder. Emergency subroutine, check for exits. Administration turbo lift active. Emergency turbo lift shut down. Airlock active. Turbo lift to admin. Administration permitted. It's probably going to automatically open only when entering administration. Yeah, okay. Check the other exits. Mining tunnels denied. Okay. That makes perfect sense, actually. Calm system, run diagnostic on damage systems. Signal unit destroyed, comm system from fuel depot and operative. The comm system serve circuit has been severed with a laser drill, and there's too much interference in the asteroid rock to allow you to contact any other level via comm link. Access cameras! Oh, actually, never mind. So that helps, and I'm gonna grit get this stuff now. Boop! Mine, thank you. Oh, hey, I finally got a thing. Finally got a thing. Okay, cool. Sorry, it just bothers me to not have that stuff looked at. And I'm kind of doing this a little bit out of order, and I'm so... Stop. Bro, just chill out with that, please. I can't... Oh, yep. Hold on. Nope. 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 Stop. Nope. Stop. Nope. Nope. Don't. Don't die. Yep. Got him. Time to get you. You know, I forget about those mines every time. Thank you for that. <laughs> Security door locked. That's right. It won't open without the... Thing. Now let's go back and talk to Monsieur Protocol Droid. If he's even willing to talk to us still. Where is he? Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. Uh, yeah. Hi, buddy. Listen. Conversation time. Greeting. 
It is a pla I'm looking for a way into the Paragus hangar bay. A pitying answer. Oh, that is unfortunate, master. The hangar is sealed behind a containment field. It would be impossible to open it. What about override codes? Answer. Only the Paragus administration officer would have such codes, master. If he hasn't already been murdered in an unfortunate accident, then he is trapped in the dormitory section, which has been effectively cut off from the facility by explosives. Hm. Uh, there must be another way to reach the dormitory. Theory. You could walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be extremely hazardous. And I do not wish to see you damaged. I only... Mm, no. Those codes could... I can't talk today. Those miners could be hurt or in danger. We need to make sure they're alright. Warning. Master, continued exploration of this facility may place you in unnecessary danger. I encourage you to return to the medical bay and wait for retrieval from a vessel that is no doubt on the way, even as we continue this pointless conversation. Oh, HK. I'm your master, and I'm giving you an order to assist me. Weary resignation. Very well, master. But there is very little that I can do. You see, the airlock is sealed by a code. Alright, so how do I get the code to the airlock? Correction. Oh, I already possess the code, Master, but I am afraid that it will do you no good. What do you mean? Condescending explanation. Master, the console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock is voice printed, musing. In the last days of his life, the maintenance officer was quite careful about voice protocols bordering on paranoid obsession conjecture i suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility he voice locked the droid bay functions a prudent measure but in the end he met the same fate as the rest of the organics voice printed explanation yes master Many consoles have voice recognition sensors built into their systems so that only selected individuals can unlock them. But you do know it. Condescending explanation. Oh yes, master. The code is maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. But unless the maintenance officer speaks the code, it is useless. Hmm. Then how can I bypass the voice print? Answer. Master, you cannot. You are trapped here just as I am. There is nothing to do except patiently wait for whatever the future has in store for us. That sounded pretty horrifying. You can mimic voices. Can't you speak the code? Objection. Master, to commit such an act would be in violation of the ethics programming most droids are believed to possess. I am afraid there is nothing that can be done. Right. Believe to possess. Irritated statement. Master, if you insist on echoing everything I say, this already tedious conversation is in danger of becoming even longer. This guy's got attention. attitude problems. But yes, most droids are believed to possess ethics programming. Such programming would prevent me from using my incredible talents to break a voice print code. All right, I actually want the story bit here first, so this makes more sense. Light side points, journey, journal entry, active. Now, I want it to make more sense than me just flat out doing it. So I'm going to go talk to Atten real quick uh, by getting to... administration and I know it already kind of is a bit confusing because I talked to him out of order and all that but just trust me all right so he should be up here if I remember correctly yep glad you survived the tunnels find anything when you were down there found anything 
Okay, I found a talkative protocol droid down in the fuel depot. Yeah? Did you blow it up? No, I thought about it, though. Yeah, well, watch your back. Droids can't be trusted. And you can? Look, I could have let you rot in those mining tunnels, and all I get from you is back talk. You know what? I don't trust you. For all I know, you could have caused all this trouble. In fact, you did just by being a Jedi. So before you start accusing me of anything, Jedi, maybe you better take a look at what you've done. You struck a nerve. That, I, I, I did not realize that my attitude was technically the dark side option, because that was a very, very angry response. <laughs> the miners may still be alive. They're trapped in the dormitory section. So they are still alive. But the dormitory comm isn't picking up anything. Is there any way to get to them? I need to open an airlock, but it's sealed with a voice print protocol by the maintenance officer. Voice print? Great. That means he'd have to speak the code. And he's dead, right? Looks that way. There's ways to beat voice prints, though. If you can get samples of his voice and the right words, you should be able to fake the voice print code, if you know what it is. You know, I overheard the maintenance officer getting chewed out by the security officer. You might want to check the security office on this level and see if there's any voice samples stored in the logs. And maybe there's samples of the code in the maintenance officer's hollow logs, if you can find a way to record them. I have a sonic sensor in the code, I just need to find the right words to record. Well, that's a start. See if you can find any recordings where the maintenance officer is speaking, and try to piece together the words to unlock the voice print. Hmm. I'll turn if I find anything. Yeah, I could have gained dark side points there by pissing off Atten. But now that we established that, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm actually going to go back. Because... I am going to trick HK. I'm going to deceive him because he does not know that I already possess the sonic imprint sensor. And I know I'm making this a little more complicated than it needs to be, but I just wanted you to see that dialogue so you can understand what's going on. Greeting. It is a greeting. Can you play back the maintenance officer's last? No, it's not that. Yeah. Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, running through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone... They... Oh, oh, no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're running through my leg! I... Oh, stop! Stop, please! Horrifying. <laughs> his remaining attempts at communication... Yeah, 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 I know. Wait, if you can play back his voice, can't you speak the voice code? Objection. Master, to commit such an act would be... Yeah, 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 blah, blah. Hmm. I understand if your limited functionality prevents you from mimicking the maintenance officer's voice accurately. Irritated objection. Master, there is nothing wrong with my communications functionality. I will prove it. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Yes, I think that's all I'll need. Confused query. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? Nope. You're just an idiot. And now, we can get out of the fuel depot and into the dormitory section. I don't know how much time has passed, but I guarantee you uh, that this will work out. Enter voice print code. Maintenance control, voice print ID, R1B5. Yeah, there's multiple ways to do that, by the way. Open door to airlock with maintenance officer override. I didn't have to go talk to Atten at all, but I decided to, just so you could see uh, what's going on. Airlock, inner door. Storage locker. Oh boy, there's the spacesuit. And now, over airlock, outer door. Which, you know, oh, it did close. Alright, I was about to point out the problem with that. The recording might screw up here. I hope it doesn't.
But here we go. Time to get to the dormitory section. Ow. By the way, something's about to happen here, but I saw it happen before it was supposed to once, and it kind of screwed everything up. That's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid's surface. That can't be right. I'm right outside the observation window. Huh? What are you doing out there? Uh, <laughs> I'm just taking a relaxing walk. That would be what I say, but... I need to reach the miners in the dormitory section, and this is the only way to get there. You're crazy. Even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there, quick. What do you mean? What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragus fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Why are the vents placed so close to the exterior scaffolding? That's just it. They're not supposed to be active when the airlock's opened. And not without the safety measures kicking in. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... Now what now? Almost as if a droid did it, realizing I, I had this. escaped. There's a ship coming in. Sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this. Yay! Cutscene time. Spooktastic. Way to show off my steam window! Oh god. Thanks for that. <laughs> Spooky. Everything's about to get real extremely quickly. If, you know, Mr. Horrifying doesn't already give you that idea. <laughs> Yep, just casually chilling on a ship full of dead Republic soldiers. They really made the cutscene sequence and stuff weird. Because it's going to window out again. No, it's not. And of course, I'm forced to watch this against my will. One time I was playing this game, and this was happening while I was walking across, and the cutscene got all screwed up and the game crashed, so that was fun. Ah, oh, yeah, that movement, it's so silky smooth, not at all broken slightly. I'm confident that that's totally how ships move. There is the airlock I believe so now it's attached at two places and all of a sudden we got up he has come oh thanks Kraya and now we got big boy problems but that is not gonna be a thing yet Uh, but yeah, no, this is a serious issue. By the way, you can tell that it's not even touching. So that part was kind of, um, flawed. Dormitory level! Here we go, and I'm gonna actually gonna push through this. Yeah, so, actually, come to think of it. Uh, do I want to... I mean... You know what? We'll end the episode here, and then 
we'll do the dormitory next time because this is a good stopping point. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new here, subscribe. And crap, I am messing my intro up all the way. You know, that happens though. So leave a like, and if you're new here, please do be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications on any new content I post. Have a wonderful day. Peace.